So today we're going to play Valheim. From what I understand currently, this isn't a new game. I've seen videos of it from two years ago. I don't know the full history, but uh, I was turned on to this game by another YouTuber, so we're going to give it a shot. I actually already have a character set up, but we are going to start from scratch. So I am going to... We'll do some little... There we go, a little bit of that. No hair, yeah, let's go no hair. Let's go ginger white. Hair tone. Well, we don't have any, so it doesn't matter. Not really. Is it going to let me use the same name? Eh, maybe. We'll see. Done. Oh, failure. Alright, alright, alright. So we'll go with my... Why is it not letting me do numbers? That's trash. We'll try that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we'll make a new... Yeah, let's make a new one. We're going to call this YouTube Land. Yeah. That sounds accurate. YouTube Land. And here we go. Let's get into it. Alright, we're here and landed. I skipped all the intro stuff because, to be quite honest, I'm not interested in the story. I play games because they amuse me. And so, here's our map, M for map. It's quite large. It's, uh, I'm guessing just this. There is no other side. Um, okay, so we got that location registered. Let's visit this dude. Welcome to the 10th World Warrior. I am Hugin, I guess, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Well, alrighty then. Okay, so I'm not peeing myself or sweating. Oh, I see. I have to talk to you more instead of actually playing the game. Alright, Hugin, what now? This stone is a name I can't pronounce. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of another name I can't pronounce. Your first prey, it's a big deer that shoots electricity at you. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Yes, and I know exactly what I need, sir, because I've played this previously. Where are you going, Hugin? Oh, okay, fine. All right, so basically this is survival, crafting, and building. We're going to grab a bunch of stuff from around here. And then I am going to start building a house. We need some food. There we go. Give me some of those berries, sir. Oh, he's back again. You know, you keep interrupting me, sir. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll talk to you. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. And if you hit tab, it goes to your inventory. I have strawberries. If you right-click, you can eat them. And it shows up down here. So that's good. So we ha Oh, come on, Hugin. Let me run around here and see if there's anything else on the ground. All right, so this is a third-person scenario here. Oh, you just keep reappearing because I'm ignoring you. You can zoom in this much, which is good for some combat. Oh, an abandoned house. We'll be checking that out soon. Let's go talk to Hugin. All right. The stock of your end of... In the la la la. Most items can be crafted, however, due to your recent departure from Midgard. You will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Well, that's a nice tip for someone who's new to the genre and doesn't know the typical move of, uh, you know, crafting simple things. So you just hit E on items that you see on the ground here, and then um, you just walk over them to pick them up. We could also punch these trees a little bit, so we'll do that. Knock this tree down. And as long as you're within range of the fallen items, you can, uh, yeah, see, it just picks them up for you. Which is nice. I like it. 
Graphics are good. Performance is good. Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's right. I called it stamina. Look at that. An abandoned house. Is there a beehive in here? I don't want to get too close. Oh, a rock. Can't. Can't. You can harvest these rocks later on with a pickaxe. Just so you know. All right. Let's see. Oh, we have a chest. Our first set of goodies. We got a torch, which is super helpful, even though I already have one. And some feathers, which we'll need later for arrows. So that's good. Let's see. Can we craft the axe? We can. So we'll craft that. We don't want you there. We want you here. Can we make a club? We need some more wood. So now that we have an axe, we can get some wood. Beech trees you can hit with the axe. Uh, there are birch trees. These guys right here. Which you need an upgraded axe for later on. These you cannot hit. See, it's just too hard. Oh, look. It's it's a a local coming to visit us. How about if you eat my axe, sir? These guys give you resin. See that? And that allows you... You need resin and a stick to make a torch. So we're going to chop a tree down. There's a fun thing about these trees. Let me zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> and I'll try and show you that here in a minute. Just be careful when you knock them down because uh, they will fall on you and kill you. Alright, so this dude might might be too big for me to roll. We'll see. But in early stages, you can roll it into other things and break them. So let's break this down. See, it already broke a little bush down, which will give us a little more wood. All right. Yeah, you don't want the rolling logs to... Let's do this. There, can I go through there? Break that. Yeah, see, it's causing damage to the other wood. So you can roll this stuff around. See that? Knock those little trees down. We got more wood. We can roll this into birch trees, which we can't cut down straight away. And what will happen is... It will break that tree. Oh, another visitor. How you doing, sir? I need your resin. Come here. How about that? How about you just take that right in the face, sir? I'm going to get this stump out of the way. Because you can get wood out of these stumps, too. So I like to harvest the stumps also. There we go. We got more wood out of that. Now if we roll this into the birch tree... I totally missed. What a failure. Alright, well, anyways, you get the idea. We'll do it again later. But right now, yeah, we hit it a little bit. Let's get this thing turned. Come on. We're going to knock this tree down before our time. Ah, don't get hit by the rolling log. It hurts. This is a little one. It shouldn't take too much damage to knock it down. And then... Ah. But anything this tree rolls into, it will cause damage. Oh, okay, well, it broke that time. All right, well, there you go. So you get the idea of that. Now that we've done that, we made that. We already have uh, two torches. Let's get organized. Not worried about this too much. Let's eat another. Oh, I can't eat anymore. Uh, we need two more stones and we can make a hammer. You need a hammer for building. I'm going to grab this wood real quick. We already went to there and grabbed this wood. Yeah, we'll get some more stones. I don't really have a plan on what direction I want to go right now. So we will just run amok, look at the scenery, find some stones on the ground. Probably, oh, I'm out of stamina. Trash. All right, let's find some stones. There's one. They're not too hard to find, honestly. They're easier to see in the open field here. We'll have to find some different food types. There's a boar. We're just going to go ahead and kill him. He's hostile. I believe you can tame these later on. I'm going to sneak up on him. Kind of. Take that, sir. Oh, why? Can you stop, little man? You can't. You just can't win. All right. All right. What did we get out of that? We got some leather scraps. We didn't get any meat out of that one. All right. Well, that was... At least to start, there's more stones. Grab these. We want to make a hammer because we need to start building like ASAP Amundo. So, whoops. 
we're going to grab some more stones. All right. Let's see. We should be able to make the hammer now. We're going to make that. I am going to put you down here. So we want to make a club. This is a good starting weapon. We want this here. Okay. Oh, Hugin, you're back. Hello, friend. You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering tower. If I could s just speak, that would be great. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Thank you, Hugin. You're a gentleman and a scholar, sir. This is a nice open spot to build, honestly. Um, I'm not at all concerned about building. Oh, Flint. We're going to need that, too. Um, so grab what you can on your journeys and look around and find yourself a spot to build. I am going to read this stone, sort of. Okay, there's a lot of red text. It's hard on my eyes. I'm not reading it. Let's see. So I'm going to stay within the vicinity of the, uh, whatchamacallit where our first boss fight is going to be. So that way I don't have to travel too far. So we're going to make a little house here. Now what you can do to make this easier, and maybe I will go... Yeah, let's go back towards where we spawned in. Oh, I wish I had a bow. You could try chasing these deer. Um, hit left control to sneak. But the chances of you sneaking up on one are kind of slim. I'm going to try it, though. It must be very, very quiet. I don't know if I could sneak up on him because I'm, like, in front of him. Nope, he smelled me. Damn it. That one didn't. That one didn't see me yet. Maybe we could sneak up behind you, buddy. As soon as he puts his nose up in the air and does the sniff thing, you're you're done. You don't want your stamina to run out while you're crouched because uh, you'll stand back up. So I'm going to let it build up. Let's see if I can give this guy a whack. There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I got him! So you can do it. You can do it. I got deer hide and some deer meat. All right, excellent. Yeah, so we're going to head back over here. We're going to hang out in this vicinity. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take over this little shack right here. Now, in order to do anything with this little shack, you have to build a workbench within range. I don't see any beehives. Okay, so we're going to put a workbench. Hey, man, why are you trying to take over my house? This is my house, sir. You will not be taking over my house. Let's get rid of this bush. Wait, we need the axe. Let's take this out. Get some sticks out of this, too. All right, yeah, so we're going to take this house over. See if we got what we need to do so. And we already have a chest to start with. Let's make a, wait, pick our hammer. Right-click your mouse. And then go to crafting and workbench. And then your mouse wheel will scroll it. Okay, we got that placed. I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, Hugin's back. Oh, we learned a lot of new things right away in the game. You have built a workbench. The workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to lots of more building pieces to construct with the hammer. As you see, there's all kinds of things flashing on the screen. All kinds of new things we've learned here. But the first thing I'm going to want to do is repair all this stuff. So right-click your mouse, select a hammer, and then you'll see there's like a health meter there. And all you have to do is left-click. And we're just going to start repairing this. We're going to try and get this done before dark. Because the freaks come out at night. So we're going to repair all that. That's good. We're going to repair that, that. We're missing a ceiling tile. All right, here. Do all these pieces. 
I might have to go to the outside to reach the rest of those. All right, we did that. Let's get these done. Let's check outside and see if I missed. Yeah, we got to do these. Those are all good. Repair that. Repair this. That looks good. That looks good. All right, and then we're going to want to right mouse button and building. And we want to replace this roof piece. If you aim in just the right spot, oh, let's rotate it so it's facing the right way. Yep, just had it. Come on. Come on. Doing this at a terrible angle. If you line it up at the edge of... There we go. Okay. So we should be good there. We'll check one more time. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And... Okay, I did miss one. See? I knew it. This is all filled up and good. Oh, didn't get that one. I gotta do the floor yet. And that piece. I think we're good on all the rest. So let's do the floor. This is why you wanna collect a lot of wood. Okay, now we want to build a door. I'm gonna rotate this. Bam! Okay, now we have a house. Now we can store things. If you hold left control and left click, you can dump a whole stack of things. I'm going to put some of the stuff away that I know I don't need. I do want to build a campfire. Right click on the mouse, go to miscellaneous. I don't want to put this in here. You also cannot open and close doors with that hammer selected. We're going to put this right here. Just like that. Now we got a fire. And we also need to put this on top, the cooking station. So we're going to put that on top. And there you go. We have a campfire. Now, you see we have wood in the inventory. Um, this fuel lasts a long time. You just heat, hit E. We'll fill that up. See, it took away from my wood. We'll close this door. And we now have our first starter house. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a bed. Because we want a spawn point. And that is going to be right here. We need some more wood. Okay, so I hit the wrong button again. And wrong tool. Alright, so we need some wood. Let's get some more. I'm not going to knock down any uh, huge trees by the house because I don't want it to fall into the house we just built. That would be trash. And so we'll build an outpost here. We'll start here. We'll get all beefed up and ready for the, uh, the first boss fight. And then we will at some point make a boat. Preferably not the little dinghy, but it'll work. And then we will make our way to where the next boss is and build another outpost. With a bed and all that kind of stuff, just like we're doing here. So let's see if we can make this bed. We can. Like I said, you can't open doors or anything with the hammer selected. Kind of jank, but whatever. Alright, this is a small house. We may expand it because I'm going to need more room. So we're just going to put this bed. I don't want to put it in the wall. How close can we get you? There we go. Oh, look, Hugan's back. You just show up at my house, sir. Sir, the door's closed and you just walk right in. All right, I had rest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chest where you can store items. I already have one, Hugan. Are you blind? It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while you are exploring. And then I hit E again on him to uh, send him away. And then you hit E to claim this. This is now your respawn point. And once nighttime shows up, you will be able to have a sleep. And we're going to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Good night's rest. It'll probably still be dark when we wake up, but that's okay. 
And that is our first day in Valheim. Very simple to do. Yep, so it's nighttime. All right, let's move on. Now, if you carry your torch in your hand while you have yourself armed or not, it will scare away those little troll dudes, whatever they are, and boars. Most creatures will stay away from you if you have the torch out. Plus, it helps to keep you slightly warm. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of the torch from, yeah. We're going to cook the food now. We have one meat in our inventory. You don't have to slut, you just hit E and it just puts it on there. Now, it's not going to take very long to cook. So, if you leave this on here for too long, it will turn into charcoal. We don't want to do that, we want to actually eat it. So as soon as we get the little, we're going to grab it and we're going to eat it. Because we are hungry, sir. It doesn't take too long. There it goes. All right, let's eat that. Where to go? Got that. Got some berries. So you always eat two or three different things, and all will be well. It's not too dark yet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and gather more stuff because we want to build more things. Obviously, get some more wood. Just do your typical gathering of materials. Now, there's probably not going to be a lot of stones around here, and that's okay. We're going to want to make a bow as soon as possible because we need to get that deer hide. Oh, look, I have a friend. Now watch when I turn my torch on. Hey, Now he doesn't want to bother me. That doesn't mean he won't. It just means he doesn't want to bother me. Oh, there's two of them. Are you going to come back, sir? Sir. You're in my yard. I would appreciate it greatly if you stayed out of my yard. Sometimes they uh, attack you. Sometimes they attack your house. I had some uh, critters destroy my first wrap that I built the other day, actually. Oh, it's getting froggy. Look at that. It's very froggy, sir. Well, anyway, so now on the map, if you zoom in, it shows you where your house is by your little bed. So that's nice. So we need more stuff. Now we need to, again, like I said, you can't chop these down too hard, see? Or we could chop other trees down, which we will do. You can knock these trees down and kill things. Oh, no, we don't, no, 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 no. We're not knocking the big tree down next to the house. No, thank you. There's this fallen log over here. We'll chop this up. They did a really good job on these graphics, I gotta say. We're gonna actually make this house bigger. We're gonna need to because it's kind of too small for me. Um, yeah, I don't want to knock down any trees over here. If I don't need to. I've experimented with chopping a tree down and trying to uh, push it in the direction I want it to fall. I can't confirm that that works. We are going to go... Yeah, let's go over here and give that a try. Go away from our house. Alright, so I'm going to try and push this tree... Oh, my axe is broken. All right. I guess I'll show you the next thing that's helpful and useful. This campfire will burn for a really, really long time. You see, it says fuel 10 and 10. It lasts a really long time. All right. So this little glowy hammer will let you auto-repair items in your inventory. So it will repair the hammer, the axe, and the club. You could just spam click it. And continue on. It's pretty nice. I don't know, can we... Yeah, alright. Oh, hey, sir. Let's axe you. Can I axe you? Oh, look at that. That was a one-shot, sir. You're a little weak in the knees, aren't you? Let's go back to our tree experiment. I'll never be able to catch that deer. Okay. Um, I don't remember which tree it was. Who cares? Let's just try this tree. 
And when it breaks, I'm going to try and jump up and push it in the direction I want it to go. I don't know that that works. It looks like it's going to fall to the right. Let's see. Nope. Don't want to be in the way of it falling. See how it, like, takes down all... Oh, wow. Okay, that was very close to... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, lumbering. Getting lumber here. You're just annoying, sir. Thank you. Give me your resin so I can make more torches. Oh, there's another one over here. You want some of this, sir? I see you. Oh, you got me. Don't forget to block, too. Or just right mouse button. You can actually improve your skills. Uh, let's see, trophies, skills. As you do things, you improve your skill. So, clubs, blocking, run, unarmed, which I haven't practiced much in. Axes, woodcutting, jump, and sneak. There's more. There's swimming and things like that. All right, let's get this. Uh, yeah, we got, we're got. we doing good on the wood. We need more stones, though. All right, so my theory of trying to... Uh, Push this in the direction I want it to go. It doesn't seem to have worked so well. That's all right. Come on, tree. Oh, you're just going to roll away. Okay. And then you're going to roll back. I see how it is. There we go. It broke. Cool. You can also take these stumps out and get more wood. If I didn't mention that already. But we need to go get some stones. All right. So we're going to arm the old club. Sir, you could just go over here somewhere, okay? Oh, berries. Give me some of those strawberries, sir. I get a little hungry. All right, let's look at the map. Uh, water. I believe if we go this way... Yeah. And you don't really have to worry about getting along. Oh, look at that, right at the water. Okay, there's critters down here. There, look, Flint, we need that. You do not want to be caught in the water trying to fight anything because no trust me come and get it sir come and get it they're pretty easy to kill they give you um did we get any you'll get like neck meat <laughs> it's funny but we're looking for just stones and flint uh oh we don't want to be zoomed kind of in we're just going to walk along the bank here up oh. We might go back up to that plateau now that we've, uh, that open area or whatever, now that we've got a little house kind of made. Because we're going to want to gather up tons of rocks and tons of flint and wood. Another stone to read. Oh, this one's short, I'll read it. Where the grass grows underfoot and the sky is blue overhead, there will always be a hearth and a home. Okay, sir. I don't know what that means, but all right. Oh, look at that. Rocks and flint. Give me all the goodies, sir. I need them all. Oh, those little white birds that you'll see flying around. You want to kill them and get their feathers. But you're going to need a bow to do it. How far am I from making a bow? Probably not far. Okay, so we're going to gather up a little more stuff, and then we're going to run back home. And we are going to expand our workbench so that we can make other things. Yeah, give me that, sir. How are we doing on rocks? We only got nine rocks? Ugh. Oh, a mushroom. Another food source. Yay. Those are kind of hard to see, but... Did I not pick you up, sir? No. Thought I did. All right. We got some varying food types. We got some flint. Oh, hello, deer skis. All right, let's go back towards our house. Take a different way. We can gather up some. Oh, hello, Mr. Stones. I'll be taking those. Ah. 
can't collect those till you get a pickaxe. All right. Where is my house? I've already gotten lost. On my own little island here. You can also improve your jumping skill, your running skill, your sneaking skill, your swimming skill. You can improve all these things. I think I'm going to use the axe because it packs a while up. Let's see. What kind of damage do we have here? Um, slash is 15. Uh, knockbacks. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I use, use the using the club and, uh, and just upgrading it in my other game that I have saved. All right. We're going to see. We don't need anything special to do our upgrades here. So, oh, look at that. An abandoned, uh, another little shack. You can actually destroy this. And you'll get some resources. Like, I got a little wood for that. This looks like it was a chicken coop or something. Yeah, there's nothing in there. We could actually use it if we wanted to. Look at that, we're getting our dodge on. So if you press space and right mouse button, you will dodge whatever direction you're facing. Or you can hit a, a, hit a directional key. Pretty typical, I would say. Grab these berries while we're here. And then go back to our little shack. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Oh, oh, do you want to be slain? Because you are. Yeah, don't be afraid to just get out there and attack stuff. Just run up on it. Hammer down, sir. Oh. Later on, I'm going to have you for a pet. You watch and see. Somehow. Or trap you. I don't know. Alright, so we got more meat, too. Yeah, cook this meat up. There we are. Out of stamina. Bah. We're going to cook this stuff up. You just... I like to sit... I mean, if you cook the meat too long, it turns into charcoal, which you'll want later on. So if you overcook it, don't be too worried about it. Just save it. Put it in the chest, you know. But let's finish cooking this meat up. How much do we got? We got two more. I just sit here and hang out at the campfire. My new little house. There we go. So we got that meat on there. Also, sitting is considered resting. You'll see we have a, uh, well, you can't see it now because I covered it, but a little fire icon, rested icon. So there's all that. Give me the meat, sir. We're going in there. Come on. There we go. Let's see how much fuel we've used. None, basically. All right, so here we are in the house. We want to upgrade this workbench. This is what we can currently make. We can make a bow. We need leather scraps, which we don't have enough. So we just need to go and kill. Did we put some in here? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we need more, though. We do not have enough. So we need to go kill some more whatchamacallits. But anyways, you can see this workbench is level 1. Well, we want to upgrade it. So, 7 for hammer. And we need to make this little chopping block right here. Now, if I did this right, I can fit this in here. See the little dots pointing up and towards the crafting bench? Now watch. Bam. See that? New recipes. Now we can make fire arrows, leather helmets, all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to want the fire arrows, wherever they are. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wait, flip, 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 boom. We are going to want these when we fight the deer boss. Because obviously it catches them on fire and causes continual damage. Which is why we need the bow to get the feathers. Resin's easy to get, wood's easy to get. But we need to go kill some more critters. So we are going to do that. I'm going to put away stuff I don't need or want to lose. I'm going to eat a little. And then we are going to... If 
find some more critters to kill. I'm not going to be able to... Well, I might be able to catch another deer, but... Alright, let's go this way. Oh, it's a rock. <laughs> I thought it was a boar. Ah, oh, they really bore me. I just... I don't know, but... Come on, critters, where are you? I need your hide scraps. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, I can't do the roll. Stamina is a thing. The more you run, the more you'll be able to improve it. There's another little stone thing over here. I think we already looked at this one. Yeah, pretty sure. Maybe not. A lot of words. They're all in red. No one cares. All right. Moving on. Now we're going this way. Yeah, I would like to get the deer, but... I wouldn't kill these. We're not getting any hide out of these, but... It's good for the combat experience, right? So... Did we get some, uh... We didn't get anything out of those. Yeah, we did. Neck tail. Oh, look, Flint. I will be taking that, sir. I'll be taking these stones and this flint and moving on. There's more deer. I need boars, sir. Where are all the boars? They're all just hiding from me. Oh, here we go. Alright, stamina. You're running away from me. Seriously. Come on. You're almost dead, though. Alright, good. Let's see. Did I get any... Yeah, I got one scrap out of that. Alright. Let's go take out your brother before he runs away. Wow. Why are you running from me, sir? I don't have a torch in my hand. Alright, thank you. Thank you for your raw meat, even though it's not what I needed. I mean, I'll take it, though. Oh, another abandoned house in the distance. Well, maybe I'll show you guys another neat little trick. I don't know if you call it a trick. Let's see if there's a beehive in this house. If there is, I will show you how to get a beehive. Very easily. I don't see one here. There might be a chest in here, though. Let's, uh, there is. Get out of my way, branches. Oh, yes. Free feathers and flint. I will be taking this chest, too. Not really. I'm just going to destroy it, so I know I was already here. I think. There we go. Okay. Let's check these other houses. I'll bet there's a beehive in one of them. Oh, we got boars over here to kill. Kill. All right, let's take care of them first. Sir, would you like to give me your tasty meat and hide? I'm gonna go with yes. Yes, you would. Your brother's gonna. Go oh, all I got was meat out of that. And jump swing. Oh, you're a higher level one. You're a little tougher than your brother. Come get it, sir. You're a tough one. That'd be a good pet. Oh, we got a boar trophy. Yay. Alright, let's get your sister over here. Ma'am. If you don't mind. Thank you. Alright, how are we doing on... We got seven scraps. We got plenty. Oh. Get set on fire, sir. Oh, he didn't set on fire. Well, that's fine. All right, let's find one of these houses that has a beehive in it. Ugh, I can't see with the torch in my hand. Where's the door, sir? Oh, there it is. All right, there's no beehive in here. There's no chest in here. Let's check the next one. We might have a... There's no beehive in here. Quit being so laggy, sir. 
We are going... Oh, look at that. We got some arrows. What are these? Flinthead arrows. Nice. Thank you. Eat food. Must eat food. Get rid of this chest. Okay. No beehive here. All right. Um, might be a chest in this one. Oh, there's a bed in this one. Interesting. No beehive, though. Okay, well, we'll save that for when we do find one that has a beehive in it. Pretty sure we checked this one already. We did. I think we got enough boar meat. We got enough... Well, we didn't really need the boar meat, but what's this? Oh, look, another scrap I missed. All right, we got what we need there. Let's see. All right. I'm going to run back home, and we will be right back. Okay, here we are. We're back home. I'm going to keep my torch on just in case there's some critters afoot. We're going to cook up some meat. I like doing that zoomed in just because, well, why not? We're going to sit down and rest while we cook our meat. But the basic goal is we needed to make that bow, so we're going to do that here shortly. In fact, we'll just do that while this is running. All right, let's make a bow. Here it is, crude bow, make it. And for right now, um, we can make flint head arrows, but for what we're doing... Oh, let's quick repair stuff. Okay. Um... What arrows is good for what we're doing? We don't need to get crazy. We're going to make, like, 60. And then in the next episode, we will start off by hunting. How do I only have... Wait, okay. Well, we have more than 60. Okay, fine. But now we got a bow. Next episode, uh, hunting, expansion, adventure, killing the main deer. Yep, we're going to have that done by episode two. So stay tuned and see you next time. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, or even annoying, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time.